Hello there and welcome back to the game game tutorial. In this episode we will be implementing 8 directional movement into our game. Currently we only have 4 that are left, which means we can move four, uh, along 4 sides. We can move left, right, up and down. But we want the player to move in... Uh, if, I, if I hold down the up and left key, we want him to move up left. And also when I release the key we want him to stop so that he doesn't just continue after we've pressed the key. Alright, so let's first delete the previous movement system here. Because we don't need to use any of those events. We need to use the keyboard event instead. The difference between the key press event and the keyboard event is that the keyboard event occurs whenever you hold down the key. So uh, in your room, in your settings here, you see that the room speed is set to 30. So when you hold down a, a key and use this event, the keyboard event, then it will run 30 times per second if the room speed is set to 30. Or if you have the room speed set to 50 and then run 50 times. Alright? Um, so let's, let's try to make the player move to the left. So you do that by using this one, jump to position. Uh, this will move the player to a position, but you can also use it to move relative to your current position if you check the relative button here. So this is just like a coordinate system. If you move uh, relative with a negative value in Game Maker, you will move left. And if you use a positive value along the x-axis, you will move to the right. Uh, we will move to the left by doing this. So now we will jump to a position. So... But the thing is, we don't want to jump through any walls, so we use a collision check here. You can use this one to check if the place is free. So we want to check if the if the place that is minus 4 relative to ourselves is free. And we only want to check solid objects because the wall is set to solid. I should remember we did here, solid. Alright, so this is where some important new things is coming in here because we check if a position if a, if a, if a position is collision free then we want to do the next thing so we actually need to swap those because here it checks it and then if it's true that it is collision free it will continue down and do this you can also if you want to put multiple events in here you can use these blocks and then place the event in between then you can i don't know what you want to do uh, but you can place multiple events in here, but it will only continue here if this one returns true. Right. So let's just test this. And you see, I can press left, and it will stop when I release the key. So let's just quickly do it with the other event, uh, other directions too. Uh, right is four, and. Duplicate, give a. Oh, we also need to change this one to positive 4. Uh, so up will be negative 4 along the y axis. Like that. And then we just need to go down. It will be 4 and 4. Whoops. What happened here? Why can't we do that? That is weird. Let's just try to clean the project here and then write it again. Yeah, sometimes you just need to clean the project. Okay. So you see now we have much more control of the player. Uh, it's a lot easier to control him. So that's how you do a directional movement. So this is the last video where things are easy. In the next episode we are translating the whole game into game maker language, into scripting language. We are taking it step by step so you are not blown off. Uh, it's not going to be that hard. If you understand this, all we've done so far, then you will have an easy time transferring it to scripting language. So that's for the next episode. See you later.